Hi, this is Android Simplified, episode 4, and today's video is all about how to edit Wi-Fi settings on a Wi-Fi network you're connected to, and it also explains all about Wi-Fi protected setup. Okay, so let's start with how to edit your Wi-Fi settings on a Wi-Fi network you have already connected to. So if we go to Wi-Fi settings first of all, Here we are, you try and find the connected network, in this case it's this one here, this is the Wi-Fi connected network and we can tell because it says connected here, right underneath it. Now it's a pretty simple process, all you need to do is long press on the network name like so and this is the dialog box that shows up. Now you have two options here, you can click on forget network which will basically erase all configurations and reset the network information you've input on your device. Alternatively, you can click on modify network config like so and you'll see this screen. Now you can re-input your password here if it's been changed and if you tick the show advanced options box like so. Now from here you can edit the settings as shown in episode 1. Okay, so let's move on to the second part of the video, Wi-Fi protected setup. Okay, so if you click on this option, here you'll see advanced settings which I've already covered in episode 3. And you'll also see WPS push button and WPS pin entry. Now WPS stands for Wi-Fi protected setup. A Wi-Fi protected setup basically tries to make it easier for you to establish a secure wireless home network. However, it will only work on WPS supported devices. As you can see on these networks, it actually lets you know that WPS is available, as you can see. Okay, so let's talk about WPS push button. So if we press on it first, this is the screen that comes up. It says WPS setup, tap the Wi-Fi protected setup button on your router. Now it may be called WPS or contain this symbol. Now you do have a limited time frame within which to press the button before your device comes up with the following message. Okay, now the way to tell how much time you have before that timeout message actually displays is by following this slow moving bar here. Now once it gets to the end, that's when the timeout message will be displayed. However, it's not the end of the world, all you need to do is click on the options button, click on WPS push button, and you can restart the process all over again. However, it is a quite slowly moving bar. It just take its time you do have quite a lot of time in which to press the button so um, it's not like you have to rush okay so let me show you a couple of examples of where the WPS push button um, can be found on two different routers okay so as you can see um, each router is vastly different and where the WPS push button is located is also vastly different and the look of this icon is also vastly different. I mean, depending on what router you have, you can't say two routers will have the WPS button in the same place or the button's the same size or even that the routers look even slightly similar. Um, but if you check your router manual, have a look to see if you can find the WPS button, if the feature is even supported. Then all you need to do is go back to this point and press the WPS button on your router and your device will automatically connect up to the internet. Okay, now the second option is WPS pin entry. So let's click on this option. Okay, now this is what you'll see. As you can see, a PIN number is given. Now each time you use this option, the PIN number displayed will be different, which in turn helps ensure a more secure connection. Now as you can see, the PIN here starts with 5365. So that's 5365. So if we cancel that, and if we go back onto WPS PIN entry, 
it's a completely different pin 6058 okay so how would you go about using this option well it's not as easy as the first option but it's still a pretty straightforward process what you need to do is access your router's web-based setup page now for details on how to do this check your router manual although this process may vary slightly generally it's very similar regardless of whether you're on a Windows or Mac or other device or who your service provider is now you should see a wireless tab on the router's setup page and somewhere on the page an option to choose Wi-Fi protected setup or WPS pin entry now if you click through these options you should be asked at some point to enter the pin shown in your device which is basically this pin here okay now once you've done this follow through to finish the process and you should have a working Wi-Fi internet connection now I'm going just on a side note here again I'm just going to repeat what I said before about WPS push button again you've got like a limited time frame in which to get this done however if it does turn off it's a simple process again if it turns off and it comes up with the timeout message you just repeat the process by clicking on WPS pin entry again the pin obviously will be different however that's not really a big issue you can prepare the page in advance before you type the pin number in it's completely up to yourself I would just like to say on a final note although I have shown how to use both versions of Wi-Fi protected setups I would recommend using caution for both methods as they are rumoured to be less secure than the standard way to connect to Wi-Fi and it may open your network up for attack. So that's the end of episode 4. I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have any questions or would like me to review an app or explain any features or settings on your mobile device please leave me a comment and I'll do my best to get a video out. Now I will be making more episodes so please subscribe to my channel for my up and coming videos. Thank you for watching Android Simplified.